Well, good morning, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing this fine Sunday morning? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah. Just getting out of Red Cliff here. Stopped here at uh, Tim Hortons. Just on the road from the trucks up there is a Tim Hortons there, so. Hey guy, I need me a good cup of coffee of Tim Hortons. Yeah, right in the morning a good cup of coffee is good for me. Oh yeah. Just like Trucker Jukebox likes to say, I have a good cup of coffee in the morning. He always says, watch Trucker Rudy, but I would say watch Trucker Jukebox in the morning. Yeah. That's right. Let's get out of here, make our way over to Calgary, Alberta that is. We got uh, three hours to go. Yeah. Continue on this road for 190 kilometers. Yeah, he's not right. I don't know why they're telling me to go a different road there. I don't want to go that road. But anyways, let's get out of here and have ourselves a fantastic day. I'm hoping you guys will all have a fantastic day yourself. And that's a joy Sunday. Here we go guys, we are just coming into Calgary. Yeah, looking a little cloudy over there. We might be getting some rain here later on. Yeah. Now about 18 kilometers to go. That's uh, 11, 12 miles to go to my delivery. And we'll go deliver our load. The guy actually called me already and he said, when are you gonna be here? And I told him, I said, I'll be there around 11, 30, quarter to 12. And he said, well, our system shows that you were supposed to be here yesterday at 8 p.m. And I'm like, no, you gotta be kidding. Yeah, apparently that's what their system shows and I said, well, let me check my satellite. Check my satellite again and it says the 16th at 12 o'clock. So, mine definitely, I didn't, uh, I didn't look wrong, so I know for sure I'm right. At least according to what dispatch has told me. Yeah. So I know I ain't, uh, I ain't in the wrong. Come on guys, let's go. The light is gonna change you very soon. Yeah. We made it across, that's good. But anyways, yeah, I could have been there yesterday at 8 p.m. if the dispatch had told me, but uh, according to my satellite, should be there at 12. So that's still, gonna be there on time. GPS says at 11.28 I should arrive. So, we are still in the clear. At least according to my satellite, right? And I talked to my uh, cousin here on the phone a little bit ago and he's coming to Calgary as well. So I might be meeting up with him later on today. Might do a dinner with him or something like that. I don't know why the GPS always says it's 70 kilometers an hour up here. I know it's 70 up there by the light, but as soon as we get across the light, past the light, it's 90. And I don't know why GPS always says it's 70, so every time I come through speed here, warning. it's screaming at me, speed warning, speed warning. Well, I ain't going over speed, it's 90 speed up here. Oh well. 
anyways, we'll go down over to our delivery place and see how happy they are to see us. As far as I know, we only drop trailer over there and then, then we get out of there, but we'll see if it's any different today. Yeah, I was kind of planning on having lunch there with JP, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I, uh, I'll be on the south side of Calgary and he lives right just down here, down the road here, so... I don't know if that's going to happen, but yeah, see right here on that poster you can see 90 speed limit, GPS says 70, <laughs> no way. Anyways, uh, as, I, as I was saying, I uh, kind of was hoping I could meet up with JP there for lunch, but I don't know, I'll see if uh, he's willing to come to the south side of Calgary. I have to talk to him in a little bit here once I deliver my load. Once I know if I'm just dropping it or if I'm actually having to wait to get unloaded or whatever. He said he would have time to do lunch, but it sounded like he had some plans for dinner. So probably won't get to see him there for dinner, but you know, my cousin will be here for dinner. So we'll have, I don't know what we'll do for dinner with my cousin. Maybe we'll have some stew. We'll make cook some stew there tonight, but... I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll Maybe just have to, to see what we'll do. Yeah, Calgary is a fairly big uh, big city. Alberta is uh, known to be an uh, oil, uh, oil country. Alright, alright. We'll move over here so the four wheelers can get onto the highway here. I gotta make a left hand turn here at two kilometers, anyways. Then we'll go down south on uh, Barlow Trail, I think it is. Highway 2. That's all I know for sure. If it wasn't this cloudy right now, you might have been able to see a little bit of mountains in the background overlooking the Calgary city up there. But right now it's kind of cloudy, so it's kind of hard to see. Especially with the GoPro, it's because it's got the wide angle, it's a little harder to see too, you know. Uh, it's actually a little bit like a valley up here in Calgary. Speed warning. Alright, gotta slow down now. Coming to a slow Speed down. Speed limit reduced ahead. Alright, got a couple of lights up here and then we'll be turning onto Highway 2. Yes, sir, Bob. One time I come down this hill here in the winter time, and the light changed, and uh, it was a little bit of icy here, and <laughs> not this light. I think it was the next light there, right where I turned onto Highway Two, and I wasn't able to stop. Luckily, the cars weren't crossing there either, so <laughs> I slid right through the light <laughs> there one time. That was a bit scary, but luckily nothing happened, so we were all right. I've been to Calgary so many times I kind of get to know the area a little bit, you know. And it's been kind of cool today again too, like even yesterday as I came further and further west. It's been cooling off. I'm only showing 14 degrees right now. It's nice and sunny, but it's like 14 degrees, that's like cold. I even had to use my uh, bunk heater there overnight, you know. Oh, Deerfoot Trail, that's what it's called, not Barlow. I think Barlow Eight is further kilometer. down. Turn left on Bedlands Trail, I think Highway I'll be, 2. I think I'll be turning onto Barlow Trail later on. This is Deerfoot Trail, so a deer must have made this trail down here. <laughs> Anyways. This is what I was talking about, it's going into a valley, and this is where I was sliding through the light. <laughs> when I think about it, no, it's funny, but at the time it was scary, you know? You're coming down here, and all of a sudden the light is red, and you're not able meters. to stop. Turn That's kind of scary, Redlands you know? Trail, Highway 2, and then take the freeway entrance in 120 meters. Alright, RJ, you tell them, you tell them. See? The light almost always changes red when you come through here. And JP said he lives just up there. Just up there somewhere. He said that's where the airport is. 
That's about where he lives. But anyways, we'll go down this uh, Deerfoot Trail and make our delivery. Well, here we go, guys. Uh, take this road. Turn right on 61 Avenue. Go on to 61 Avenue. And we gotta go deliver our load up here somewhere. Yeah, I remember going down this road, yeah? I remember this road. It's like pretty much at the dead end according to the GPS. Approaching destination 800 meters on the right side. Yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah, that's, but it is a little interesting going down here. Because it is the middle of... <laughs> I guess not in the middle of nowhere, but in the middle of Calgary here, and it's at a dead end road, pretty much. Yeah, going over a little river that goes across Calgary here. Looks like a, a made little river, it looks like it. Yeah. So I guess somewhere up here to the right. destination in 300 meters on the right side. We're looking for 2680. Yeah, this looks like this is it. Yeah, I remember this place. This is it, my friend. I think we gotta go to the back, though. Yeah, I think so. This is it. Yeah, here's the security guard, so we'll have to go talk to him and see where he directs us into. I think this is his office here. A buddy of mine told me about this guy before, so we'll be right back, guys. Well, guys, we got our load delivered. We just had to do a trailer drop, so that's good. They were happy. They got their load. And I am happy, too. If they're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> we got it delivered. We got it done. They didn't say anything about being late or anything like that. I had made sure I took a picture of my satellite message there. Just in case they were going to say something, I was going to show meters, them the picture. The right on Barlow Trail. Where I had clearly gotten told to deliver today. So I figured I could cover my behind, you know. And so now we're going to go bobtail over to the uh, Flying J. They're on the south side. I'm only six kilometers away from it. And I will probably fuel up the truck. Continue on this road. So for that five way, kilometers. So that way we are good to go whenever we get a reload. Which probably won't be till tomorrow afternoon, I, I suspect. Because uh, I told them I would only be available tomorrow morning. And the reason being is because I'm pretty much out of hours. I only had like six and three quarters hours this morning and it probably is going to be about four or four and a quarter hours in the books all together with on duty time by the time we are at the Flying J part because I want to fill up there yet so we got to log that too and all that good stuff so oh man some of these roads are rough up here. Anyways, we'll go over there and we'll be done for today here in a minute or two. <laughs> yeah, fuel up and that's it. And we're parked for today. Yeah, usually up here west it kind of is a little bit slow with getting response from the dispatchers sometimes, you know. Because they got to look for a load yet probably tomorrow. So I suspect that I won't get out of here till tomorrow afternoon. but. That's okay, well, as long as we get out of here tomorrow afternoon, I'm good. And I'll be happy, 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 happy. That way I can make it home Tuesday. If they give me a load home at least. Well, I told them I need to get a load home, but... Yeah, we should be able to make it home there Tuesday night. And then we'll leave to go on our trip there Wednesday. Oh. Looks like we got a red light up here. Well, looks like they even got a camera up there too, so if you run the red light, 
We'll take a picture of you, huh? There we go. Just got the light changed now. Yeah, so we're only two miles away from our truck stop. So we'll see you guys over there. Well, guys, unexpectedly, we got a message from the dispatcher. And they asked me if I had a little bit of time left on my logbook today. And I said, sure. Got a little bit left on the logbook. Not a whole lot, but so if anything works for you, I can I can make something happen. So they got back to me with a load offer. Yeah. I never in a million years suspected that I was gonna get a load today. But goes to show you they can always surprise you. They can always surprise you. Because I hadn't heard anything from them all week, you know, since I picked up the load in Toronto or Mississauga, you know. I didn't, uh, didn't hear anything all week long. And <laughs> once I delivered my load, I went over to the Flying J and fueled up. All of a sudden, I get a message. But we're on our way to uh, Leftbridge, Alberta right now. Be uh, picking up a load there and then go to Winnipeg. But I can only go as far as Lethbridge and that's it. I can't go nowhere else. That's it. That's as far as I can go. And then we'll be uh, picking up our load there. Hopefully it'll be ready there tonight when I get there. And then I'll just go over to the little petrol truck stop that they got up there and uh, we'll be done for today. Leave early tomorrow morning, and the load needs to be in Winnipeg by 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning. That's a little tight, but we can make it happen. But here we are. We have about 17 kilometers to go, and then we'll be in Leftridge. Yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that little car show uh, video that I had there. And then, uh, okay, we'll have ourselves an awesome day today, you know. It's been a good day. I got to meet up with JP in Calgary, and then I went over to our terminal and picked up my trailer, and I noticed there was a car show right there across the street. So I went over there and got you guys that little show. So you never know what I'm going to be up to, you know. But that's why it's good watch every day yeah but anyways steep down right ahead we'll go over there to left bridge and then we'll see you over there well guys look at this big valley up here that they got here just before left bridge i'm about eight kilometers away from left bridge look at this valley up here isn't that interesting eh looks like they got the railway track up there to the right yeah I've been through here many times before, so for me it's, you know, I've seen it before, so it's not new anymore, but for some of you guys that uh, never traveled this stretch of the highway with me, hey, it'd be cool, right? Something different to see, right? Anyways, got a little bit of a river right here. Well, guys, we are done for today. Yeah, we are in Leftbridge and we picked up our trailer and we're sitting over here at the uh, petrol that's got parking pretty much only for about two trucks. So I don't know if you can see that in that mirror over there. There's another truck over there. He's got some truck problems or something like that. And uh, so he's got a uh, service truck right over there and he's got his thing fixed already. But I guess they're waiting for payment to clear and whatever, you know, but... Uh, Anyways, we are done. We have had an excellent day today. Oh yeah. So we're going to go to bed here pretty soon. And then we'll make our way to Winnipeg tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll be leaving here at 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yep. But anyways, uh, that's about all I got for today. Yeah, I think so. Yep, that's right. That's about all I got. 
So with that, we sure hope to see you tomorrow at 2 a.m. for some of us, some of you, you know. And if you like the video, give it a good thumbs up and share the video. And hey, if you're first time here, we would love to have you on board. So hit that subscribe button and you never know what could come your way. Yeah, that's right. So anyways, with that all being said, have a good rest of your day, whatever it is for you. And we will be sure to see you again tomorrow.